What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be installing a part that I think everyone with a Mishimoto oil cooler like this one should have. And it's the 93 degrees Celsius thermostat. So the if you get a Mishimoto oil cooler, it comes with the, I believe it's an 80 or 85, I believe it's an 85 degrees um, Celsius um, thermostat or it's 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So this one, it's a 93 degrees Celsius, which is a 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So once the oil gets up to 200, the thermostat will open and it will flow oil to the oil cooler right here. So my issue with the 185 degrees uh, Fahrenheit is that it opens way too soon. So my oil is always at 170. Ambient temp is about like 60 to 70 degrees and it gets really cold and my oil never gets up to temp like above 90. So, and when I drive it hard, I'm really like, really scared to see if there's the oil is actually protecting the engine or not. So I want the oil to heat up even more. So 200 is like a good area to be at. And if it gets higher, the oil cooler will open and cool down the oil. So uh, I'm gonna go check out to see the oil sandwich plate because this is where it happened. All right, so here's the oil sandwich plate from Mishimoto. Um, I believe right here is where I would take out this, either this one or this is a set screw that I had to take out. So I want to look at Mishimoto's um, diagram, but I have to take that out. That's where the uh, thermostat is housed. And um, I just took out the oil filter here and I took drained out the oil already. So that should be all good. I'm gonna let this drip a little bit, clean it off, and then see if I can get this off. If I can't, I have to take out these AN lines, which I honestly don't, but if I have to, then I will, so. All right guys, so I just rewatched one of Mishimoto's videos. So like I said right here, I was correct. This one is the one that we had to take out and then it holds a spring. I think I believe an O-ring and then the thermostat and then another spring and a cap. So um, I, I think this is pretty hard to get out. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take out this right here and then this whole assembly will come off. I will, the lines I will still be keeping in here cause I don't really need to take it off. and. It could just hang off like that. So, um, yeah, let's do it like that. All right, so just an update. Um, I took out this bolt right here that holds in the oil filter, and now the oil sandwich plate is off. You can see a little bit dirty right there. It might be a leak on the header, but yep. So now I have access to this right here, and I can take it out. And this is just hanging off from the AM lines right here gonna clean some services after that we'll try to see if you guys reassemble it all right cool so now all i'm doing is taking that same 20 27 millimeter that we used to take out the bolt you should just unscrew this it's very light it's only like 10 foot pounds so there's not that much and once it comes out um i'll show you what's inside all right so i just broke it loose um it's a dripping oil a little bit so um, let's see what's inside it. Gotta make sure I see the order it comes in. Oh, okay, there's a thermostat right there. Spring. All right, let me put the camera down. I need two hands. All right, so cool. Here's how the the order that the thermostat came out of. Sorry for the lighting. So you have this screw right here. It's pretty much like a set screw. It has a gasket right here. And I'm scared to reuse it, but I did not buy an extra one. So hopefully this one's still brand new. It, it barely has about like 2000 miles on it. So there's a spring right here, a little perch right here for the spring, the thermostat, a cap that holds it in, and then an extra spring. So I'll just replace this thermostat with the one I bought from Mishimoto and we'll just reassemble this bitch and it should be good to go. Then I'll be testing it, change the oil, and that's good. But yeah, I'm really scared about this, focus. Look at this, there's an O-ring right here. I did not buy a new one. So I'm gonna try to like loop this up real good. I'm pretty much gonna dunk everything in oil. So it just everything works. It's sealed up pretty good. And I'll put it back in here so you can see the thermostat opens right there. There's a check, there's like a valve right there, an extra passageway. So that allows oil to flow 
into one of these lines to go to route to the oil cooler which i have focus all the way there so yeah let me sw swap out the for new thermostat so here's a new thermostat it's pretty much the same as this one so i'm gonna take this piece right here you can see there's like a spring perch and an extra spring right here sorry for the bad lighting and we'll slide it into this thermostat actually this thermostat oh shit okay uh, you guys could correct me if i'm wrong because i really don't understand how this works but i'm pretty sure this one is much longer than this one either this one is pushed back that's why it's giving a bad reading or the distance not the distance the length is determined of the temperature but um as to when it opens but um yeah let me just slide this back in here if i can damn it, it's not working It's not working. How did this slide in? What? Okay, let me check. Alright guys, never mind, I was wrong. Forget what I said. Um, this spring perch does not have a hole on the other side, so... Yeah. So it stops right here, and this spring is used, and then this set screw is used to clamp it. So this spring compresses, so that's where it gets the temperature, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look more into it, see how, it's pretty interesting how it works, but it doesn't really matter. We ha we got the new thermostat, so that's how we're gonna do it. So once, uh, once this screw goes in, this will compress, and then this will just either push back in or stay this length. I'm not sure, but if it works, it works. So that's what I'm gonna check. Good thing I have a, an oil gauge. Not oil gauge, oil sensor right here, oil temp sense. If anyone wants one, get one at Pro Sports. Hella cheap, and this is the way I routed it. God, it's so good, right? You don't need to buy those expensive ones. So let me swap this one and put it back into the oil sandwich plate. All right, guys, so I got the set screw on. Um, I tried to torque it down to what they said, 10 foot pounds, but um, this thing is in the air, so I can't really torque it down. So I try to get it as like, when they did it, it was flat. And I just did a little bit extra just in case because it's very loose. 10 foot pounds is not even that much. So yeah, once I put it on, I can't get it to it because of the headers. So if I can, I'll, I'll try to retorque it, but this should be good enough. Um, I'm scared it might be a bit too tight. If I put it flat like how they did, it's a bit too loose now. So I just leave it like this. There should be enough clearance for it to touch there and it won't even touch this anyway, so. But yeah, now put it back on and I'll torque this little bolt here. All right, sorry for the loud noise. Um, so yeah, I pretty much got it done. Um, this thing is uh, 30 foot pounds. This one is almost parallel to this flat here. I did a little bit extra just to be in case. If it's too much, then I'll pull it back a little bit. But yeah, everything's good. No leaks or anything. Now time to fill up with oil now. 